since the start of the coronavirus outbreak, outbreak, Trump and the GOP have blamed everyone for the horrible response to the pandemic. Pandemic. We're talking China, the Dems, the governors, you name it. Obama. Of course, <laughs> even Black though the clown's been in charge for nearly a full year, <laughs> a full term, um, and COVID-19 didn't exist four years ago, he, of course, does this. This as administration, uh, the <laughs> shelves were empty. The shelves were empty. So what you should do is speak to the people from the previous administration, Jim. The Obama administration, people from the Obama administration would disagree on your assessment that the cupboards were bare. They, they said well, that there well, was equipment. Yeah, in, I know, Jim. Let, let me just tell you. I, that's right. You say broken tests. It's a new virus. So how could the test be broken? We had a broken <laughs> test. We had broken I mean, ridiculous. <laughs> it's a new virus. We have bro- okay. Anyway, so blame Should've Obama. <laughs> blame Obama. We're all about he blame Obama. Known. Psychic. Why, why psychic, did he use you know? his voodoo? Because we you know he wasn't born here. So why didn't <laughs> That's he right. His, voodoo. You know, his Obama's African voodoo. voodoo and, yeah. You know, mm-hmm. it's his fault. <laughs> but anyway, the, the recently the blame game has gone even more nasty. Day laborers, they're finding these are overwhelmingly Hispanic workers and day laborers. You have a lot of people in these households. Once one gets it, that close contact allows it to spread. (laughs) And if you look at this demographic, I think they're like uh, six times more likely uh, to to test positive than the broader community as a whole um, up in Northwest Florida. And I think that that's traced back to that to those types of living conditions. just wear the mask out of respect. Now, I will tell you, I'm not a scientist and I'm not a statistician, but one of the concerns that we've had more recently is that the Hispanic population uh, now constitutes about 44% of the case, uh, the, the positive cases. And uh, we do have some concerns that in the Hispanic population, we've seen uh, less consistent uh, uh, adherence to social distancing and wearing a mask. Um, oh my I know God. that it's an inconvenience, but it's a minor inconvenience when you think about the fact that you may be infecting somebody or you uh. yourself may have an underlying health condition that can make it an acute case that, that uh. ultimately leads to death. So, All right. So, co-host, my question to you, why are we picking on Latinos now? What is the we want to put? What this are they doing? Anything to, defer. Anything to defer. Anything to defer. Anything to defer. It's our it's turn. Black, black people. Listen, you know, you have Dojo Ohio in, in June who was saying that, you know, asking about if colored people wash their hands. And is that because we don't wash our hands as colored people, is that one of the reasons why the numbers are so high in the black community? This guy is a state senator and a doctor, and he was fired from his That's doctor's lighting. position. Well, <laughs> good. <laughs> So first it was black folks. Now they've moved on to the Latinos. You know, it, it's it's. I mean, I'm confused yeah. by it. I'm just confused as to, I mean, the it's it's very direct racism. I mean, we're used to not. I mean, they they usually go around it, talk around it. You know, uh, but a lot of dog whistling. But this is like straight racism. It's the Hispanics. <laughs> They're causing the COVID problem. Boom, to you. I mean, yeah. It goes along with the other, like everything is the other. The other is threatening to us. You know, that's what that's that's what the the message is. The other, and now they've just picked a different other, and uh, not even true, not even the real, not even anything. But you know, as long as you feel that it is not you, it is them, then you're going to feel okay about yourself. And let's be real. And the anti- you know, you're busy. Did anyone show him the pictures of all of the white folks at the Anti-mask beaches? Mask. Mm. Thank you. At the bars, at, at the casinos. In people's faces, irate, upset, spitting, emitting all of these secretions <laughs> during the pandemic. I mean, are we not talking about that? I posted a video on our Facebook page where these two little guys were going down the beach, I think um, Huntington Beach, and they were giving out free masks. Um, to people, oh, yeah. and then, you know, almost every one of the people who declined the masks were white people, not Hispanics. Yeah. Matter of fact, there were some young kids who were Hispanic and 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 African American who accepted them. It's like, oh yeah, we'll wear them, um, but I, it's yeah. not mm. Latinos. It's not African Americans. It is 
the horrible leadership of people like Trump, DeSantis, who don't really care. Mm -hmm. I mean, think about it. Trump no, wore a mask for the first time publicly last week. For the right. first time in July, for the the president of the United States, for the first time publicly wore a mask. Well, supposed last to lead by example. Lead by example. Now he's back, backtracking from that. Now he's backtracking from that. Let me let Z get in here. No, you know, listen, uh, I, I think it's hysterical that it's our fault for having to go to work because a lot of Latinos are essential workers. Let's put it, let's put exactly. it out there. They are the yes, ones in the kitchens. They are the ones in the supermarkets. They're the ones picking your, your produce in the fields. They're the ones, Nursing. you know, thank you. They're the, all right. So they're essential workers. So it's their fault for having to go to work. Okay. Then it's their fault for having to live in tight quarters because we all already know how hard it is. They for don't us pay. To, right. To attain real estate, to attain property. It's difficult in most cities. You have to live in, co in close quarters. So now that's our fault. Our poverty is our fault. Great. Um, and it's our fault mm -hmm. also when you come to these establishments and don't want to wear a mask, like you said, you know, and spitting you in my them. face. All those anti-masks you know? infecting them, yes. the essential workers. Absolutely. So it's like someone, I saw one of the comments online. It is exactly gaslighting. This is exactly gaslighting. And I'm going to take it back to Goya. And this is why we need to boycott Goya. This is exactly it. It doesn't matter. Listen, it is all out war against Latinos. It is all out war against brown people, black people, Asian people. All right. So to have anybody come out of their face and say, this guy is doing good for us. He's already throwing us under the bus again. again. It's ridiculous. It is the absolute definition of gaslighting. And if people don't see that now and don't wake the heck up, I, there is no saving us come November. All right. Everybody has to vote against this creep. Everybody. And that is it. Everybody. I don't care. We can fight about taxes for the next election. We have to get this psychopath out. He is nuts. He is gaslighting us all. Dr. J, I saw you had some comments. I was saying Florida in the past seven days, 80,000 new cases. How many? Of Corona. 80,000. That, 80, that is now. disgusting. Yes. Oh. 80,000 new cases over the past seven days. And they want to claim and, it's, it's, it's and, the Hispanics' and, fault. It's yes, the it's, fault. Say, it's not. You know, it's not their fault. The you know, we're dying. Brown people are dying more of this virus, but we're not necessarily being infected more of this with this virus. Yeah. Mm. So, you know, we cannot. You know, we cannot. Um, uh, we cannot. Um, uh, you know, even sit there and mm -hmm. try to blame one group of people or several groups of people when you have people, you know, throwing two-year-old tincture tantrums in a store mm -hmm. being asked to wear a mask. And those people were one not Latino. Guy, one white guy pulled out a gun. He pulled yes. out a yes. gun. <laughs> yes. okay. I'm going to tell, so tell you straight yes. up. And it doesn't even have to be that extreme. Uh, you know, just Everybody that I came across in Atlantic City, for, for example, the people who didn't have masks, masks on in Atlantic City were all white, okay? There was maybe, oh, there was a couple of kids. I'm going to say this. There were a couple of kids, black kids, who did not have a mom, but you could tell they were just kind of running around being, you know, just not even staying in place. But I'm talking about coming into the elevators, at the casino floor. It was always white people who were like, but I don't want to. You don't know the conspiracy theory. You don't know the truth, what they're trying to do to us. <laughs> I'm like, oh, you know the truth? Oh, okay. And listen, you got I've, it from seen, I've, seen pictures. I've seen tons of pictures of black folks with no mask on. Let, let's put this, that out there. Yeah, However, yeah, let's put that. We're not the aggressive ones with the no mask. We are not trying to fight people, pulling guns on people, talking about, you know, our constitutional rights are being violated. So why are we... It, and, and government saying it's the black people, it's the Latino people, when it's you guys too. Like, don't <laughs> assign that. Right. It's just people who don't want to wear masks that are putting everyone at risk, and the, and the poor leadership. It's definitely poor leadership. And you're yep. blaming groups of people who traditionally have been, you know, your cleaners. Yes.
Exactly. Black and brown. Yes. They've been the ones cleaning your house, and we we don't wash our hands. Yep. Yes, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Even get me started hand washing stuff. I guarantee you, I don't know any black person in this country who did not get yelled at every two seconds growing up for washing their hands. You come in the house, did you wash your hands? You come out of the bathroom, did you wash your hands? Well, go wash them again. Like, mm -hmm. don't know. Yeah. That's true. That's true. Don't even start that. All right, let me get these comments in real quick from online. Uh, Danette Brown, uh, gaslighting, as she mentioned, as you mentioned, um, that was one of her mm -hmm. comments. Jacqueline Robinson, the San death Santis is such a piece of <laughs> fill in the blank. Next time, just put it in there so I can say it because Lizzie said I can quote. So. Hey! <laughs> that's my sister. You can quote my sister. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, Jacqueline Brown, wow, yet it's the non meal head uh, out there protesting. I don't know. I don't, I don't get know. that one. All right. Um, <laughs> so, blunt force racism. Mm hmm. Uh, Esther yep. Adebriega. Um, Demara says Latinos should stay home and not work. No food for you, no delivery either. That's not a bad idea. Mm -hmm. That's a great solution. Yep. That's right. Don't let them boycott and stay home or, uh, shoot. <laughs> We're in trouble. I uh, I'm telling you. So, uh, Demara says war against minorities. Yep. Yeah. I mean, that's what it feels like, to be honest. It really does. It really, really does. Although I have a little bit of good news. So in my neighborhood, I live in um, an area called Morris Park um, in, in the Bronx. And on my running trail uh, during this whole COVID uh, lockdown, I went by this house. I found this house that had a huge Trump 2020 banner on it. I mean, huge. And this guy had one of these like army looking Jeep Wranglers in his, you know, car garage. And he would sit outside and just, you know, eyeball everybody and, you know. And me and my friends, me and my black and Latino friends, you know, we we're running together and we came across this house and we were scared, but the neighbors were outside and they were like waving at us and hi, it's okay. Went back last week that that banner's down. They must have shamed him. They must have done something. They were just like not in this neighborhood or we're, we're quiet about it or I don't know, but that sign was down. So. All right. A small piece of, you know, something. 